So the great folks at NXP have challenged us to make an airframe that anyone can build and will also save lives. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. I'm Rob. I'm Ian. I'm Diamond Gerhardt. And these great folks are from NXP. And if you guys haven't watched some of our previous episodes, we actually partnered with you guys to do something called Hover Games. Right. Hover Games is our coding challenge using a drone platform and our electronics as the flight controller. And people were using that for fight fires with flyers. And a huge shout out to you guys because you guys responded in a big way yes. so well that we wanted to actually partner with them again. And we have a completely different vision, but this one I'm really excited about because it is right down frankly, our strength. Yeah. So what are we going to be doing? We're going to make an airframe that's a flying wing tail sitter using the electronics from NXP and it's a drone code software with PX4 flight controller. So it's all going to be potentially all autonomous as well as, you know, RC. RC. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Very cool. Now the really cool thing about this is we're going to make sure we stay true to flight test form. We're going to use common simple materials. We're going to use their amazing control board. And our hope is here that by the end of the day, we've designed something where we can give you the free plans, a speed build kit, but also you can actually use their software, contribute to this drone code, which is helping people all over the world advance life-saving technology. And we're going to give that all to you to be able to repeat on your own and hopefully move the hobby forward. Search and rescue today can sometimes be pretty yeah. simple right now. We just take video and watch the video. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where we can take video but have a computer look at it and find things. So that means you can find, you know, somebody's jacket that's lost in a wood or a firefighter's helmet and that sort of thing. Okay, so we're just using this as a whiteboard. So basically what we do is we always do a little bit of research before we attack anything. And this is very similar to what we also do in our STEM program as well. Uh, but in a tail center, what do you have? You have two motors. Center section ends up being the hull, right? So That's yeah, we're thing. thinking like if the middle part, we were talking maybe this whole section is removable. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a body where wings can plug in. Okay. And then the whole thing can separate apart. And we've got to figure out about like landing, you know, how it's going to yeah. sit on the ground. Something like that will make it look cool. Yep. <laughs> now, Gerald, uh, you said that the control board needs to be pretty centered, right? Something. Yeah, I would do it pretty centered, and the GPS should be far away. Yeah. Power distribution board, battery should be as much as possible separated from the flight management. Well, you know what I kind of see here? This is cool because we have the spear already. Yeah. Um, so we can kind of take some of the notes of the spear and the goblin. Mm -hmm. And then this reminds me a lot of the wings that we see like on the cruiser and on the uh, Sportster. What do you say like we, we kind of play off of those two designs smash yeah. them? Nice to be able to use components from existing airframes that totally. we already know work well. Especially for you guys out there, whenever you're designing something, we have well, like 63 different designs. It grows almost one per month, plus an amazing community that contributes to our designs as well too. If you have an idea in your head and you see someone that's designed something similar, take those free plans and start bending and stretching. You're already starting with a pronounced characteristic that you identify that you want. Take that and then start tweaking from it. Because of that, we can actually kind of go from concept to flying in as little as one business day. That's awesome. I'm loving this because the practicality, this isn't going to be delivering coffee. This is really like the end goal is to really have these things to be saving lives, saving lives impactful yeah. in a positive way. Very impactful. And uh, so, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean big, heavy things. Mm. It sometimes oh, yeah. means the very little important thing. Something as simple as an EpiPen arriving at the right time can save a life. This is where I think these drones can really have a powerful impact because it's something that can literally get to you quickly. That's right. Dropped off, it's durable in itself. If you've got a nose part, you know, you can have different cameras looking. Uh, you could have sensors, air quality yeah. sensors. You can have pitot tubes out the front for sampling. And, and ultimately, at the end of the day, everything around this is pretty disposable except for that core, that heart in the yeah. center right, right yeah. there. So we can That's we right. can basically say this can be reconfigured any way we want, even with different style wings yep. that will plug in if we wanted to get different functions or different abilities. So I love the fact that we're just using foam board that anyone can get and anyone can build. So it's not. What the actual vehicle is isn't profound, it's what it's doing. It's yeah. right. I'm excited because we, yeah. we can change it so quickly too. Yep. Yeah. You guys yeah. got your work cut out for you because <laughs> I don't know anything about coding, but like I can't wait to see what you do with your control board and, mm. and how you can take us through that journey yeah. too. So yeah. looking pretty good. It's looking awesome. <laughs> All right, so guys, what we have here is we're trying to make this modular. As we discussed before, we want the nose to come off and we also want the wings to separate. And you can really kind of see what we're looking at here. These are where the two wings are gonna meet. And our next goal, yep, you can put it out. Right out. Perfect. Our next goal here is to actually kind of finish this portion off. We're not gonna worry about folding wings yet, are we? No, not yet. No, not yet. We're gonna put this together, we're gonna just fly it. And in probably about maybe an hour, you're gonna see this whole thing together ready to fly. 
All right, so for our first flight here, we're not gonna use, we actually have all the NXP hardware inside of it, but we're not gonna use it. We're gonna fly it from a traditional remote just to make sure the CG and everything's okay. Uh, what we have here is we have our differential thrust, and then we have Elevon. Basically two motors and two control surfaces. That's what flies this whole thing. This is the ground control station. It works with any laptop or Mac or cell phone or iPad, and it's what's getting the telemetry from the drone and also lets you set up, set up the mission so you can tell it where to go if you have waypoints and stuff. So it's how you watch the, the vehicle while it's flying. It's really cool. Awesome. Even right now, we can, we're can we watching it as it's being walked to the field. It, it'll, it's tracking it right here. So there, there they are walking across the bridge and it's right on. So right now we're currently debating on whether we wingtip launch it, you know, which is uh, probably the more conservative way, or whether we do just a VTOL from the beginning. Now obviously my thumbs are not gifted enough to be able to do all the autonomous transition, but we could potentially pop it up and make it fly. So uh, I think we'll give it one little, one little shot of power to see if we can get it going. If that doesn't work, then maybe Alex, you can uh, yeah, you I'll help me out. Long, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wiggling on Nick and draws. <laughs> Are we ready? All right. Can we get in there, girl? This is for you. Yep. Get on. Get in the air. Yeah. Hey, get. Whoa! Oh, he's, 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 he's flying! Awesome. Let's go! Alright, we need a little bit. Let me see here. Is it reflex or is it just pitch sensitivity? Oh yeah. Nice. She fly she flies like a happy little tubby thing. It's like a skateboarder. It's good! We're good! Let me get some reflex dial in. My uh the pitch sensitivity is awesome, but you know what? Why I have that? Let's see how if I can hover it. Well, there you go. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Woo! That's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is where every hobbyist in the world is gonna say, "Here we go. Ready? And two, three, and yeah!" What's your oh GPS? What's that's... your What's your GPS say about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just right need now. to touch one nose weight. Now my favorite it's thing to coming. do is to pull, pull up and see what happens. So let's see. See us pull up. Right below you. Look at that. Whoa. She does drop a tip. Okay. Sorry guys. That's that killed that you, test. You can glide though, right? Oh yeah, she glides for days. Right, I want bragging good. rights that I landed it vertically, but I don't think I'll be able to do it. But I think you can do you it. You gonna try? Yeah. All right. Well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, nope. <laughs> He's like, you know what? We're just going to save that for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> save that for the flight control board. All right, guys. There yeah. it is. So what's next here is now we get to take this design and we get to put it in the capable hands of these folks here. They're going to be doing programming, right? That's right. Yeah. So we're going to be doing programming tomorrow. Now at that point, the internal programming is going to be able to do those things like those transitions, hopefully land vertically. And then eventually we're going to run a mission with it. Uh, goal here to do the first test flight uh, with uh, the flight management unit. So PX4 flight management stack is set up now for VTOL for the tail sitter. Uh, you good? good. You ready? Let's see. Do we have to press? Is the button <laughs> flashing? Oh, okay. We're okay. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> so we have two motors. So two chances for failures. That <laughs> just checks it. I think All there's right. something with the controls that are, are weird. Yeah. We've never set these up for VTOL before, so we probably have some setting wrong with the yeah. ailerons or the motor settings. Yeah, and it could yeah. just be one switch. The thing is, anytime you're tuning or testing, that. especially when we go inside, lose the props and make yeah. sure that you know nothing can spin and cut you. Because that's generally when things, if they're going to go wrong, sure. will go wrong. Yeah. Right. Make sure you're safe. Oh. All right, so Josh, what's going on here? Follow Dream Big. This is about to take off autonomously. They've programmed this. They feel they got this close enough where it's going to lift up, it's going to fly a circuit, do a buzz, all from the computer, and then hopefully land again. Yeah. And land like, like it is now. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. What? I will start the Stay mission together. in three, two, one. <laughs> Operating perfectly. He's waving. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit shaky. Mm. It's good. It's it will not do a mission, <laughs> I guess. What I can do is now switch to. Something's gonna happen. Wow. That's, that's a lot smoother. And then 
continue mission. Intercept! <laughs> oh my goodness! Flying perfectly. You're a better pilot than me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, then you look at it fly it just normal and it's dialed in. Look at that. Are you flying it, Gareth? Yeah, that's 4S. No, that's really soft. That's awesome. I don't think the computer's as smart as you. Uh, that's right. What is it do? It Maybe says it's there. going sideways. <laughs> <laughs> the compass. Yeah, compass is a bit strange. Could the compass have gotten... Oh, now it's flying straight, the compass. Look how stable it is in hover, though. Like, well, you're manually yeah. doing that now, right? That's yeah. in multi-rotor, so that's hovering as a, like, as if it was a quad. So. Are you, uh, <laughs> can you turn it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. It went to the cranky neighbors. <laughs> you got it. Oh. Look at that. That's uh, the one motor is missing still, but everything else. Everything we, else we got. So as you guys can see, we had an amazing, very, very fast week with the great folks at NXP. One thing we really loved was how cool it was to see people where the profession is designing new things and how quickly you can go from failure to evaluation to trying something new and ultimately to success. It was definitely an emotional roller coaster, not only designing the airframe, but also seeing as they'd make changes to try to get the autonomous functions to work properly on us. At the end, it went from a wobbly goblin to something that was actually handling wind, taken off autonomously, rotating around, and landing with success and even running some very basic missions. Once the week was done and they went home, they concentrated on the coding and getting all the electronics in order while we focused on the additional things that we discovered would make this airplane a whole nother level better. We wanted modular ability. We wanted the ability to have a sensor tray that would go in and out. We wanted the wings to be able to pop in and be held in with a pin so they could easily be disassembled quickly on the field. Along with that, we also wanted the features to be able to drop packages both in horizontal flight and also vertical flight. We went ahead and did this, and now it's ready for our challenge. We kind of got a really cool taste here right at the shop, what it's like to compete at with the Hover Games. And speaking of the Hover Games, the Hover Games has evolved, and the theme of this new challenge is help drones help others through pandemics. Since the awesome success that you guys brought from the first challenge called Fight Flyers with Flyers, NXP has added a new companion computer with vision called NavQ. So you guys can now help connect this technology to help save lives using this new vision-based computer. So if you're wondering what NavQ is, NavQ includes a Linux operating system system and a Google Coral camera with computer vision software and other amazing tools. Now this amazing technology combined with the airframe is going to help you in a lot of powerful ways to do some really cool missions like maybe identifying or delivering a package or a blood sample. It could be delivering a snake bite venom kit to somebody out in the far reaches of Africa. It could even be used to help track down people or articles of clothing that could eventually lead you to those people. So this technology sounds very complicated by nature but it's incredibly powerful with what it can accomplish and hopefully in your hands you can use that existing technology and even add Add on to it. Or if you want to try our new experimental VTOL, make sure you subscribe to the tech channel because when that build video is live, so is the airplane. So guys, we know we are blessed with the most amazing and talented community out there. Make sure you hit that link down below and participate in this challenge. Huge shout out to NXP for bringing challenges like this to really get people the ability to flex their muscles and use this hobby for good. And thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. We'll see you guys next time with another crazy project.